everybody this is thunder hands and the campfire council now I am entitling this episode about the campfire council but also it will be about membership in the campfire council and to explain some things that heretofore maybe have not been explained so well. But today I did a lot of research on things like religions, tax exempt status, 5013C, all that malarkey. And who and you know who can form a religion or who can form a tax exempt organization and who has the right to do what and this and that and this is all within the context of the government, which we the Campfire Council is like one of the precepts is like getting away from the government, getting out on our own. So keeping that in mind, I, re I did some research. Anybody can form a belief system, a church. Now see, a church, the name church doesn't, is a misnomer. The name church is actually a building, okay? And it's a a building that has a steeple and the people go in and worship and all this stuff okay so actually when you hear things like you know the Native American church or whatever that that word church bothers me anyway okay so all that means is is you know a building and our church in the campfire council is the forest the outdoors so we don't need a building although we might have a building we won't call it a church okay that's that's one point that I wanted to make clear here the other point is that we want people you know where most of the problems come in with with donations and 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 you know belief systems and uh, that type of thing M where most of the problems come in is people go well can we is this a tax exempt if I make a donation to you well according to some sources you can make a donation and it will be tax exempt whether you're a 5013C or not but that's between you and the IRS a lot of people claim things that they think are charitable organizations on their income tax forms and they're not and then they get in trouble or whatever see that's why you don't want to deal with the government that's why you don't even want to acknowledge that they have any jurisdiction over you <laughs> because they don't not other than what you give them so this organization is unique the campfire council and today I made it legal in a sense of publishing it to the public okay that's how you make things legal that's how you you can actually form a corporation by publishing your intent okay this is done all the time fictitious names and all this stuff 
And so what I did today is I published on my blog, which is just like a newspaper. It's on the internet. And I'm publishing it here right now as I'm talking about it on YouTube because I'm publishing this video. See, you have to understand just a little bit about their laws to get by. You don't need to, to join a 5013C or you don't need to declare yourself a religion or you don't need to declare yourself a church to the government to have a church or to have a religion or to have a belief system. Okay? It's in their constitution that they can't screw with people that have their own religion or that people are allowed to have their own religion or their own belief system. And it's a very fine line that the IRS has been walking. They've, they've stepped over the line and other people have stepped over the line on them and it's just a, been a continual battle. Because they're really, it's, I mean, they're, it's highly suspicious that any of this stuff is legal anyway. Or that it means anything at all other than what they try to scare us into believing. Okay. Now, I'm going to read a little bit from my link at the Campfire Council, which I just registered that as a domain name for my website today through your donations. I couldn't do this without your donations. Okay, so thank you for the donations and keep them coming and whenever you give a donation I would like you to be a part of the Campfire Council and a member okay so that you can have certain rights under the umbrella of your religious tradition okay this is this is very important so you should pay attention because this will help you and it's going to help us all now not only is this the campfire council not only is it a belief system or what they would call a church or religion or whatever but it's also and remember, that's their definition. Our definition is a tribe. Okay. And our definition is beliefs. Okay. And so we're also forming a tribe. Now, is it a federally recognized tribe? Well, not yet. But there's a lot of tribes that aren't federally recognized. There's a lot of people that aren't recognized by their own tribe. So what's new and why because of all the bureaucratic red tape well we're gonna get by all that stuff we're gonna bypass it we don't need it what do we need it for what do we need recognition for from the federal government we don't we never did we never will this is only for money purposes all this stuff federal recognition you know, all this stuff is all for like income tax and blah 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 and you know people want to write this off and write that off. So anyway, let me just read to you and I'm going to read right from this no, new domain which I'll, I will put a link to campfire-council.com okay really simple not slash or anything else it's just campfire dash little dash sign in there council.com I'll put the link anyway but let me read to you under the heading of about the campfire council so you will always have this and you can listen to it or you can even go to the website and read it I'm going to read it right now about the Campfire Council. The Campfire Council is a group, community, sacred society 
and tribe form to facilitate the independence of the individual from all forms of outside control and to live a life in accordance with nature and various indigenous tribal customs. Okay? These varied customs and rituals in a whole or in part are considered practices of the said campfire council. This means working together as a collective entity to establish certain goals and holy in parentheses wakan means holy practices. These goals are but not limited to one self-sufficiency from any government or agency of the government which constitutes a sort of religion because that's a belief system so we can't have their religion enforcing their will on ours that's a little loophole there any other religion and other societal conditioning two to practice numerous ancient and indigenous traditions, religious exercises and practices such as the Anipi, which is a sweat lodge, and other ritualistic and shamanistic rites. 3. To learn various ways of traditional self-defense. 4. To work together as a tribal community and support individuals efforts or individual efforts of creativity within and outside the community to benefit and sustain said community five to be self-sustaining and productive which would include being exempt from any form of payment for the right of self-sustenance to any entity, government or government agency, foreign or domestic. And this is really important. Six, to use as its sacraments any natural herb or plant for healing and religious ritual. This has already been ruled on by the courts that it's legal for any religion to do that. Or belief system. And seven, to promote free will or free spirit. And then down at the bottom of that I put this notice of copyright is published to the public March 2014 for notice of formation of the entity tribe and sacred society see sacred means religious so that covers the legal definition sacred society known as campfire council okay so that's it that's that's the definition of the Campfire Council, and that's a good definition. I thought about that a long time. It covers everything. Now, some people might be wondering, well, what if I want to make a big donation, like land or, you know, a house or an RV or lots of money or a significant amount of money, and I want to declare that on my taxes. Well then what I suggest, and if you want to declare it on your taxes, call me, email me, I'll put my, I don't put my phone number, but I do put my email, I will put an email down below. Talk to me, we'll figure out a way. There's always a way. 
And if you're going to join the community, which is going to be out wherever, then why would you worry about the government anymore anyway? Because that's our purpose is to get away from the government. But if you want to, if you don't, you know, if you want to be in the community, but you don't necessarily want to live out there or be outside the cities, which you should be, if you've listened to any of my previous videos, then call me after you email me. I'll hook up with you and we'll figure out a way. Now, if at some point, you know, this isn't written in stone. If at some point I figure that I need to go 5013C or whatever, or send some kind of statement to the IRS that says, okay, you know, here we are, which is all you really need to do, but you really don't even need to do that. And the IRS even says this, okay? You don't need to be, you know, monitored by some organization that's iffy at best. Just like the Federal Reserve, now they're not even a part of the government, so, and everybody thinks they are, and they control our money. So, you know, these are things that you want to think about. Now, I really, if you want to be a member, okay, I do have a newsletter down there, but that newsletter, there's hundreds of people on there, okay. What I'd rather you do is email me and say, yes, put my list on the membership. So that way you can tell everybody that you're a member of the Campfire Council, church or whatever you want to call it, tribe, sacred society, and that gives you rights, okay, to practice your belief system the way you want to with certain herbs, okay, you get my drift here, like peyote or whatever, natural herbs that you can use legally because you have a right to worship or be sacred in any way you want. You could be your own church. So this Campfire Council is like getting outside the paradigm of churches and IRS and 5013, 501, you know, tax exempt and man, it really like sticks in my craw and my mouth to even talk about this stuff because it's all BS. It's all a way for them to make money, keep tabs on you, take your paycheck, this and that. We're going to be totally outside of that, baby. And this is for real. Now, if you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But you can be a member of the Campfire Council by just contacting me and say, hey, I want to be a member. I'll put you on the membership list. It's as easy as that. And someday I might even, you know, if I get enough donations, maybe I'll make up a little ID card that says member of the, you know, Church of the Campfire Council or whatever that you can show to somebody. Say, yeah, I'm an indigenous American. It doesn't matter if you're indigenous, though, because we're going to in practice... Our practice is indigenous. Our practice is tribal. So you can be, you know, Frosty the Snowman and still be associated with the Campfire Council. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about race or, you know, race or blood or bloodlines or tribal because we're a tribe. And there's going to be all kinds of different tribal members from different tribes in this organization this entity. I'd rather call it just an entity. But there will be native and non-native people, but we're all tribal. Let's not forget that the Hopi said that when there was the dispersion of the tribes, there were the Bahanas, the whites, 
and the yellow I mean just red and black and you know that's how do you know there's black Indians okay so this is what this is about this is the real deal and as I go along further and further I'm gonna fortify this more and more the more people that get involved the more legit it becomes in their eyes so people what are you waiting for let's get on the stick send me an email and I'm going to put this stuff out. I might even start a Facebook page because we got to get this rolling. We got to get some resources going and some donations and you donating whatever you have. And I'm going to put a list of things on the website. I haven't finished it yet. It's basically finished. But I'm going to put a list of things that we need that you could donate including yourself because you'll be there if we get the land and we get the community going okay now we're gonna the way I envision it is we're gonna have a group of people living on some land in different things like yurts and trailers and teepees and houses and whatever and that might be only like 10 people but the community of the Campfire Council community is going to be worldwide. It's going to be nationwide. And people are going to form their own little offshoots or parts of the Campfire Council. But it's all going to be related. Think of what could happen here if, if people follow through on this. Think of what could happen. We could have a bunch of units, tribal units, all around America called the Campfire Council, all in touch with one another, all living out in some pristine area, all detached from the government. As much as we can be. And will this be illegal? No. It'll all be legal unless they try to trump up something, but it's all legal. People are doing it already. Okay? And the more resources we get, we'll have our own legal team and we'll have our own whatever. We'll have our own council that decides things that deals with these things and the and the 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 tribal members the members of the tribe won't have to worry about it at all it'll all be taken care of by the council okay it'll all be taken care of by the council and approved by the membership okay always approved by the membership so let the journey begin let it begin let us start now and I don't care if you're on Facebook or whatever just send me a little message. Some of you people I send messages to on Facebook. Send me a little message. Say, yeah, I want to be involved in the, in the Campfire Council. Put my name on the list. There's no charge. So what do you, you got to lose? You got everything to gain, actually. Now, if some po at some point, you know, you might feel moved by the Spirit to give to the to the community to support this and this isn't like okay give me the money now and then we'll see if it works out no this is 
we'll see if it works out we'll see how things go and then if you want to donate you can or you can now to help get it going this is a win-win situation here okay so you get a membership for free you get to have your own you know and a lot of people call my philosophy Native American Taoism and they really like that and they've asked me about it and wrote me letters about it. is that a religion no we encompass all indigenous people's traditions that are holy sacred natural and next to the earth and want to protect the earth what more could you ask for do you know any other organization like that not since the tribes ro roamed around here you don't and that's what I'm trying to get going here and thunders gonna do it and even when I'm long gone they'll this this will be going on still this isn't dependent on thunder this is dependent on you you're the people the people it's like the buffalo were the people this is a spiritual thing people that's why I'm trying to avoid all the, the and like I say this is there's nothing shady nothing illegal everything is out front here this is not like what you're used to okay that's not thunder that's not me that's not who I am okay and you notice I had in that clause that I read you that we want creativity and we want creative sources inside and outside the community to benefit the community you know what that means and and for self-sustenance that means we don't have to pay taxes there's ways around everything okay because if you're in a community and you're in a tribe and you're self-sufficient okay you don't pay taxes if it has to do with charity and so who do we pay the charity to? We pay the charity to the tribe. Because this organization is a belief system, quote unquote, religion, sacred society, boom, A, and it's a tribe. Now we will give to ourselves and other tribes that are already in existence like the Lakota and the Pine Ridge Reservation and the people up in the Four Corners the Hopi and Navajo and all that so you cover all the bases okay you stay legal that's how they do it you just take a page out of their playbook and use it right back on them okay so we're now official this is the campfire council and we're here and you know if it's just me that's in it great I can live with that because then you know I know that I have rights and I can do religious practices and I can use this to my benefit big time because I'm outside the system and if you want to be outside the system if you want to join this and get it going and contribute your ideas and if you have any questions about this ask me or if you think any part of this needs your input tell me I'm a two-way street okay this isn't about me it's about us so as things get more and more hectic in the world 
and as things you know start to heat up and as things start to get even more ridiculous than we are I mean than they are we will have a haven of protection we will have a protective umbrella we will have each other you know I talk to a lot of people that say oh my I can't even communicate with my families I don't even think my family loves me anymore they think I'm nuts because I talk about this and I talk about that well that's because they're sleeping and you're awake hello so it's time to like take that kindred feeling that you have and associate with you know other people with the same kindred feeling and the same goals and the same desires spiritually wanting to cut off from organized religion and cut off from the government and cut off and get back to tribal ways and sitting in front of that crackling campfire and that's not just a real campfire that's a metaphor for the warmth okay that you are going to feel from all the people that are associated with this get the word out share this video put you know like this video I'm even gonna do I don't know if I mentioned this before but I think I'm gonna create a Facebook page even with just for the campfire council I'm gonna use every Avenue I can and can I afford to do this not on what I the fixed income I'm living on but I do it anyway I find out a way to do it for free <laughs> I find ways around things and people do donate I mean even if it's just 20 bucks or 5 bucks guess what it just cost me what $12 to uh, register a domain name called Campfire Council and I think I got 5 or 10 bucks a couple days ago guess what that covers that see this is not BS and it doesn't go in my pocket it goes right back into the campfire council because eventually none of us are gonna to have to worry about any kind of income or anything we're gonna be bonded up we're gonna be reliant on one another for family and love and you know rituals and getting back to what everybody really wants what do we really want we want it to be like it used to be back when you know this land was inhabited Turtle Island was inhabited by indigenous peoples and their worldview because we're indigenous peoples whether we're white black yellow okay if you're in accordance with the thinking of the indigenous person and the Indian and the tribe it doesn't matter people are so hung up on color and race and every headman and and every pipe carrier that and every you know medicine man that was worth his salt will tell you straight out just like I'm telling you that the spirit of the four directions is white for the south black for the west red for the north yellow for the east and what are the races they're all those colors well, what does that tell you great spirit grandfather grandmother all the people on the earth are all one it's only these bureaucratic nincompoops that think they gotta run everything and they're not a tribe believe me they're a gang they're a gang of thugs and they're out to kill maim murder and every other thing need I say more
and ruin the planet that we're living on, that we're trying to sustain our life on. I mean, if people really got what I'm saying, I'd get a hundred phone calls tonight, a hundred emails, a bunch of donations, everybody go, yeah, this is real, people. <laughs> I'm not sitting here devoting all my time to something that is a pipe dream. What people call a pipe dream, well, a pipe dream is, you know, smoking the peace pipe and sitting around the camp that's a real pipe dream what they call a pipe dream is like oh that'll never happen well it's it's gonna happen I'm asking great spirit I'm asking grandfather and grandmother grandmother earth and I'm asking Sapa the spirit of the west the Wakanyan and I'm asking Luta the spirit of the north and I'm asking Gi the spirit of the east and I'm asking Ogagaska the spirit of the south and I offer this pipe and this smoke to grandfather to hear my prayers to bring all people to the campfire council which is just a word or words to describe how life should be tribally so I gotta put a word on it to get it, things organized here because you have to get out of the cities so I'm gonna put the links down here I'm gonna put membership and I'm going to put the one link now to the Campfire Council. It's beautiful. And there is a newsletter there, but I want you to email me and say I want to be on the list. It says contact email on the right-hand side of the page. Hit it and contact me. Real simple. Hey, Thunder, my name's so-and-so. My address is so-and-so. And I want to be a member of the Campfire Council. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you know, you just got to put the thought out there and then let go of it. And if it happens, it happens. And I'll just continue talking like it is happening. So anyway, as I go out, I'm going to put some little flashes of my books that I have. And those books, too, one of the books, Listen to the Wind Speak from the Heart, has already been used as a textbook in a college. And it has all kinds of indigenous and, you know, sacred thought. And it's already been used as a textbook in a humanities class and has won awards. So I got what's the word I'm looking for here you know I'm real I've got you know credentials or whatever okay and another thing you can do once this you know you join the membership here you can become you can marry people you can become what they call a minister or, but I don't call it that I just call it a see the thing is here is we're trying to fit this tribe and this belief system in this group of people there really isn't a belief system it's just practicing the old ways and becoming tribal we're trying to fit that into this concept of what they call a church and religion so that's why I sometimes say religion or church because I'm fitting it into their concept so that we don't have problems and we're not going to because I got this covered okay so anyway I'm gonna say peace unto you join up people and here's uh, here's uh, some little flashes on my books which I did not do before <laughs> I said I was gonna do but I'll do it this time anyway I'm out of here later <laughs>